Hi everyone, it's Jessica and welcome back for another monthly plan with me. I have not filmed one of these since I think February, so let's flip back to that. I've been using the Erin Condren sticker sheets for these and I've really been enjoying that and I've just sort of been planning it on my own because I haven't really had time to film it, but for May I thought, you know, I'm using a really pretty sheet, the Blossom pattern that I really love. It's the cover of my planner right now. Also, May is a super busy month. Um, March and April were pretty busy too, actually, but like May is really busy at work in addition to my personal life, so um, I thought it would be an interesting video to film. So I have a bunch of these sticker sheets from Erin Condren, and I kind of bought them without any purpose. Like on Black, I think it was like Cyber Monday, and then I bought a few more and they came out and they, she keeps coming out with more beautiful ones that are awesome but um, I haven't purchased any more lately because I have so many that I've just been using them on the monthly pages and I've really been enjoying them for the monthly pages so um, the first thing oops don't fly away cellophane bag the first thing I'm gonna do is take one of these strips up here and put it on the top of the page over here. These don't perfectly fit, but I've learned to work with it. Another thing I really like to do is take this box here and put it in the sidebar over here just to take up some space. I really, really just don't use this monthly sidebar. Um, I kept trying to make it work when I was using the Planning Roses monthly kits, and I just never really, it didn't serve a purpose for me. So, instead of stressing out about trying to use every inch of my planner, I just decided to block off some space and make it look pretty. So, the next thing I'm going to do is mark some birthdays. Um, May is an exciting month. It's my boyfriend's nephew's birthday on the 13th, which is funny because then the next day, the 14th, is my birthday, which is also Mother's Day. <laughs> so my parents are leaving on a trip this day for their 25th anniversary, which was actually last year, but they're finally going on the trip. And then on the 30th is one of my, or 31st, sorry is one of my friends from college, her birthday. I haven't seen her in a million years, so honestly her birthday would probably be a good excuse to contact her and be like, hey yo, what's up? Sorry I disappeared off the face of the earth. Also, how's your baby? Anyway, <laughs> so this was a sheet from my hourly Erin Condren last year, and obviously so many birthday stickers in these planners that I just can't use them up in a year. So I'm kind of excited about the new stickers and the new planners because it's something different. So now I'm going to flip to the back of my planner and, ooh, do I want to use these or do I want to use these? I think I'm going to use these. Um, I use these to mark YouTube videos. So I put them on every Tuesday and Thursday. And then if I do extra videos, um, I insert those as well. I'm also going to go ahead and mark my paydays. So I have this sheet from a Planning Roses kit from last year. I think this was the maybe the July kit. I don't remember. Um, I can cover up Cinco de Mayo. I don't care. Um, I'll just take a couple of these labels. Somehow I don't have any payday labels left over from her kits. So my paydays are the 5th and the... 19th. I love when you take a day off and you get paid on it, like that day is payday. Just a nice feeling. I don't know. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to go back to the back of my planner and pull out two day off stickers. Um, will those match? Well, we're just going to use them anyway um, because I have a day off for my birthday and I also have Memorial Day. Off, so I'm gonna go ahead and mark those. Okay, now it's time to mark some actual events, but before I do that, I wanna take this box and just cover up the 30th of April over here, especially because there's like smudges on my planner for some reason, so we're just gonna cover up all of this and pretend like it's not here. 
it's probably the smoothest I've ever put down one of these boxes because as you can tell they don't perfectly fit in the box so you have to really like center it perfectly okay so the Erin Condren launch is on May 4th which is also Star Wars Day I'm not gonna mark Star Wars Day on this spread I will mark it on my weekly spread don't you worry I take Star Wars Day not like super seriously but like you know pretty seriously <laughs> so I'm just gonna take this like washi piece from the um actually let's do eh we'll just do this color from the planning roses sheet there's a long piece of hair right there but that is because my hair is super long and then I have these fox and cactus planners that look exactly like my planner and of course match this spread so we're going to hopefully remove this sticker from the sheet <laughs> and put that there the fifth is what my family we have decided to call Harrison Memorial Day. It's the day that um, our dog passed away in two years ago. So I'm gonna take another washi piece, put that down, and then I will take another sticker in a moment once I can get this down straight cool everything's happening in the span of just a few days but these are from planning made easy these are little springer spaniels so i'll just put that there and then the, 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 i can't talk and then the sixth is my sister's prom which i actually don't have a sticker pulled out for so let me see what i have in just a moment I actually decided to move that label onto the 17th because I have an event for work and for her prom I'm going to use one of these stickers and sort of center that in the middle here. And then I pulled out my fox and cactus cameras because I figure I'm probably taking photos. <laughs> I always end up taking photos. Okay, so that takes care of the things that only span like one day. Now it's the fun part where I have to figure out how to mark things that are spanning multiple days. So like I said, on the 14th, my birthday, my parents are leaving on a trip. So they're gonna be gone this whole time. So I'm taking one of these strips from the Erin Condren sheet and hopefully sticking it to the page eventually. Do, do, do. Is that straight? I sure hope it is. These are like difficult to get straight for some reason. Okay, that went better than I thought. And then I think I'm going to put one of these flags and I'll mark what days they're going to be gone because then on the 18th they come back and also on the 18th Nathan comes in. So there's kind of an overlap anyway. So I'll take this other strip. I'm going to have to trim it because he'll be here until the 22nd. Well, the early morning of the 22nd. He's leaving that morning. but. Yes. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay, let me grab my scissors or something and I will be right back. I'm going to use another flag to mark when Nathan flies in, which will actually be at the end of Thursday, so I guess I didn't have to mark all of Thursday, but that's okay. Actually, I'm just going to put that... Ooh, okay, that's going to have to go there now. <laughs> I love when stickers decide that for you. I like, uh-uh, he -uh, can't move me. I'm stuck here now because I ruined your other sticker. And you're like, fair enough. I should have figured that out before I stuck you down in the first place. Sorry, temperamental sticker. <laughs> and I pulled out my airplane stickers from my little pink suitcase to mark when Nathan's going to be here. So I think I'll pull in this pink color since it's on the day off stickers. Come on. 
so intricate. And then I'll do one at the end of the ribbon over here since he's flying out pretty early on Monday and I didn't cut that straight anyway so I can sort of hide it. <laughs> okay. So then I have two fairs I have to mark for work because I go to them and I think I'm going to mark them with washi. So one runs from the 11th to the 14th, but obviously the 14th is totally packed already. So I'll just probably write on, probably pull out some more Erin Condren labels actually, the flag ones, that would work well. So I'm going to put down the washi on the days that these fairs are happening and I'll be right back. That washi is from Oh Hello Stationery Co, by the way in case you go looking for it. Although it was with a subscription kit, so I don't know if they still sell it. But they have lots of awesome washi, so I would check it out anyway. And so the last thing I'm going to mark is a baseball game I'm probably going to with my family on Memorial Day. Um, we have the tickets, so I figure we'll go, but um, We'll have to see if anything else comes up. I have to go grab my baseball stickers, actually. These are from Vintage Lilac Paper. Pretty much all her like sheets like this that have just single things on them are $2.50, so it's a really great deal. And then I'm just going to take the birthday presents and put them on a couple of days. I guess I won't mark that last birthday, but that's fine. I just wanted to use those up because I never really use these sheets up anyway. Okay, the and also on sidebar over here, I messed up this sticker. That's so sad when I peel ink off a sticker. But I do want to put a checklist. These do not line up very well with the lines over here, but I like to put one anyway just to mark some goals that I have because even though I don't use the whole sidebar over here, I do like to have some monthly goals. I just don't need the whole column necessarily. So that's what I have left on the Erin Condren sheet. I'll usually go in later and add in some more things um, if I feel like they're needed, but this month is so busy that I can't see myself doing that. So I'm going to go write everything in and then I'll show you the final product. So that is everything filled out. I always feel so much better when I have my monthly pages planned out, which is usually like why the past few months I haven't filmed a video because I just wanted to like lay everything out and feel calmer about how much stuff is going on. But thank you so much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye.